Hi, this is Linda from Casey Creations, taking you on a tour of Pastel Inspirations. This paper comes from Pixels Parfait. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, there's a lot of poems, a lot of affirmations. It is a very beautiful digital paper. On the spine, it's four and a half inches. I've got two cards here. They are backed. All of the cards and tags are backed throughout with an additional layer of cardstock. And the chiffon ribbon is colors that I've used throughout the journal. It is tied with some nylon twine. It's kind of a gold color, which holds the signatures in place. And you can remove them if you would like. It does measure nine by six, and it does have a hard cover. On the front, I've got some cream colored lace, little cluster here, flat back pearl, little butterfly with some bling, different kinds of lace. There is a vellum pocket going across that holds all of these larger tags. And here's one of the beautiful poems. And Antonio, who made the, uh, the inspirations digital, wrote this poem. Here's your card, little card, little extra tag on top, little butterfly charm. Anytime you see a ribbon, you're gonna have a metal eyelet to protect the hole from tearing out over time. And then the little bulb pins work just like safety pins. You can open, close them, add, remove things, whatever you would like. Another little poem, tag, little bird charm. another one this is a little rose another little inspirational saying flowers little butterfly charm got all different kinds of chiffon ribbon up here it's iridescent and it's variegated very excuse me variegated with different colors the closure is another piece of the variegated ribbon and I have finished off the ends so that you can thread them through the large grommet very easily. It does have three sections. And here I've got a hidden paper clip. It just removes. Some flowers, different lace, some tulle, little butterfly charm, and it is on both sides. And there's a paper clip in the center of this that will hold a tag or anything that you wanted to slip underneath it. There's some more of the ribbon. It is the closure for the first section. We've got a flip, We've got some very pale colored pink lace here. A little affirmation saying, acetate window. And on the butterflies, I put some Winkostella so it's kind of glittery looking if it's picking up on camera there. Got some flat back pearls. Another little saying with a butterfly charm. It opens up, we've got an angle pocket. Another little tag. On here we have another flip and an acetate window. I put another little cluster here. It holds this tiny little wee tag. And it has a pull out from the top. So you can see the pretty birdhouse underneath and the flowers. There's a little bird charm there. it up. You've got to pull out from the side. Some pretty flowers, butterfly. Got an angled pocket here. Holds this little tag. And in the center here, I've die cut out a gazebo. Got some butterflies with Winkostella, some die cut flowers, some lace, little ribbon there and it is in a vellum pocket 
which is here, you can see. It's some antique coffee stained lace. And there is a card in the top. Nice journaling space. Just fits right behind the envelope. It opens like this. Here is some beautiful lavenders and blues on the paper. And here's a bookmark. It's got some cream antique lace with some gold ribbon, or excuse me, thread in it. This little pocket here, it's got a saying on it. It holds these two little tags. We've got baker's twine as their pulls. And here's a little tag here, because this opens up. We've got a little tuck spot there. It's got some lavender lace on the top, little flower. And in this section, there it is a flip. You've got a little pocket there, just some ribbon decorating it with a little eyelet. And there's a pull out from the top. It's got a little bird charm. it again. You've got a nice journaling spot there. And here, this little paper clip, I've made it into a little butterfly on the clip. It's got a little butterfly charm that holds the little flap shut. So when you open it up, you've got some more cards under here. in there with the butterfly, some little flags, a little card. It's this way. You've got a notepad here. It is removable. So you could add more pages if you wanted. You just, they're lined pages that you can journal on. It is on a piece of cardstock, so it makes it easy to insert in the little band. In the center, there's a belly band. I've got some little different colored butterflies there, and we've got some big cards that fit under here. And this, I love this little picture. This is from her countryside, I believe. I just had to add that in because he's so cute. This is your second section. Again, you've got the hidden paper clip and it is again double-sided. And again, I use the same ribbon throughout as the closures for each section. Here we have a little flip with an acetate window, some little yellow lace. There's this tag here, a butterfly, butterfly charm. And I've fussy cut out a butterfly and some flowers there. Open it up. Got to pull out from the side. Also, I use some of the papers from Colette's. I forget what it's called, sorry. It's Colette's Garden, I believe. Just because the colors blended so nicely with this, the inspirations. Here I fussy cut out a basket of flowers. 
held this card, Little Butterfly with Simpling. Once again, we've got an angled band here, some flat back pearls, holds these nice cards. It says today's inspiration and daily grat uh, gratitude, three things I'm grateful for. And over here we've got a vellum pocket, got some cream colored lace here, pulls these tags, got a butterfly with some lace, and there's some gauze back here, it opens up, we've got some journaling space there. And there's a pull out from the side. inspirations today I will and over here I've got a band other underneath and I put some antique lace and some rose colored ribbon pulls this tag here it's got a little lace for the pull on it and here we have a little corset is this ivory colored lace with some pearls intertwined through them and it is laced with some blue satin ribbon. You do not have to untie it. The cards just pull right out the top. And I put the same blue lace as pulls for these to match it. Way. We've got another one of the beautiful sayings here from the collection. Another belly band with a cluster here with a little butterfly happiness. Those, these big cards. Opens up this way. We've got another angle band. Oops, forgot the little pullouts here. We'll do them from this side. Little flowers, it's pink chiffon ribbon, purple ribbon, and an angle band to hold this large one. Here we have an acetate window again, and I have die cut, these are Tim Holtz, die cut out some flowers. Card pulls out from the top. You can see through it, as you can see, the acetate is the actual pocket. down. Here's the other side. Got a little journaling spot there, a little vellum pocket. Close these two tags. Pull out from the side. This is very peaceful, calming with all the pastels. Open it again. Got a little pocket here with some antique lace. Close this little tag. And here we've got some button closures. Opens up. We've got some cards in here. And there's room there. You could stick something else in the envelope if you wanted note, whatever you would like, a little letter. And at the top, behind it, is another card. This is Baker's Twine. The little buttons are held with gold brads. next section again you've got the hidden paper clip that is removable just like the other two it's got a little butterfly charm 
here's the other side of it. Little flowers, lace, some gold lace. Closure. Got another acetate window here. It's got to pull out from the side. See the little butterfly? And I put some Wicastella on him so he's shiny. Little butterfly charm. Cut out the butterflies, some more flowers. Got some flat back pearls over those flowers. And it flips up. You've got a band here that holds these two cards. And here we've got an acetate pocket. I've sewn around the edges. We've got some lace and a butterfly that holds this little card. I've die cut out this little pocket here with a scallop design. Opens this way. Did we pull this out? I don't think so. Nope, here's another little card. Opens this way. We've got another one of beautiful sayings. And here we've got three pockets. They each hold a little tag. little sayings in each pocket. So pull out from the side. It's got a little pocket here that holds this tag. Open it this way. It's got a little pocket at the bottom. And I've cut out a butterfly and some leaves to hold this little card of a butterfly. This little tag has got some antique lace with some gold thread. On this section, we've got another flip with an acetate window, flat back pearls, and the flowers are on dimensional, so they are raised about a quarter of an inch. They say a quarter, I say an eighth. I cut out some flowers there. A little tag with a little rose charm. Swings open. Got a little journaling spot, weekly inspirations. It has a pull out from the side. One of the beautiful sayings on it. Here we've got a pocket. It's got some lace across here that makes a pocket for these little tickets. Large card. Cut out some of the flowers that were in the inspirational part. I believe she calls it gratitude. I call it inspirations, just so I don't copy her. Here's some little lace, flat back pearl. Some lace here on this card. It's got a little pink ribbon as it's pulled, a little flat back pearl. And I also believe she's having a sale on where you get a percentage off when you buy two of her digitals. Here we have a little band, a little key flips down and we've got these large ones today's inspiration all the things I'm grateful for lots of journaling space in there and on the back is the actual journal it's got a rose gold clip with some purple chiffon. This is to hold your pen or pencil. It just fits in that little hole there. You open it up. I've got an envelope. It's by this little clip here. It is empty. It's for you to store whatever you would like in it. Photos, letters, notes, 
whatever you might like. All the pages are lined. There is quite a few. I think there's 30 pages here. And that concludes the tour. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you've enjoyed it.